Well guys, um, today I'm working a little bit on the bodywork. Sanded this down in a 220 I believe. And um, yeah, I got all the, the white paint off it. There was a couple of deep spots. Looks like I got another scratch right there that I'll quickly touch up. And then uh, I got some primer. I'll shoot it in primer and then I'll paint it back white. But I definitely, definitely have to do the majority of the truck which is not a problem, I'm going to enjoy doing it because it'll be done properly. Um, but yeah, there was a bunch of deep scratches and stuff that I had to work out. And yeah, but anyways, um, I'm going to do a little bit of sanding there, kind of even that out, smooth it out, and then uh, primer it, and then we should be ready to paint it. So I got a, a base coat of primer on. I'll wait till that cures. I'll do a very light sand on it. I uh, got a couple of little bubbles and stuff in it, but that's not a big deal. It looks pretty good all the way around. Cat and baby nugget. <laughs> hey guys! out now since I've already got the face plate out there's one two three four and five bolts and then this just lifts up and slides out just like that throw this in the back in the most awkward way we can and speaker can go. As you guys can tell, I had this out um, just before. And I was like, oh, I forgot to bring the camera over from painting. So I'm redoing it for you guys. Um, 
this guy. I'm pulling out the factory speakers because I'm going to go with some good aftermarket ones. I'll wash down the dash and uh, maybe repaint it. I'll, I'll wash it down and see what it looks like. There, and one thing that I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do is pull this out if I can, I don't know if I can or not. Um, kind of looks like I might be able to. I haven't really looked all that close. I just, I don't know how it attaches to the firewall. I see a bolt right there and a bolt at the bottom there. Um, I'd imagine they would have a few more, but maybe not. Um, the bolt behind here and another one down there. So this doesn't look all that complicated to do. Thank Frig. <laughs> but, uh... out now. Um, speedometer cable, you push this forward and then just slide the thing off. 5.5 um, mil and then this got this clip, you just squeeze them and pull out. And that's all there is to that. Checked. But anyways, we will put this off to the side for safekeeping. And I think that's just a dummy. Dummy light, or not even a dummy light, there's nothing there. So we can do something fun with that. Maybe I'll make that the, the glow plug one. That'll be alright. Locally, locally. Don't know if you guys can see, you can't. These have turned out really good too. Couple, couple little imperfections in them, but I can gently sand those out. And then, uh, well this one turned out really good. I don't know what that is. Oh, <laughs> stupid bugs. Yeah, joys of painting outside, but anyways, I am very happy with how these turned out. A thousand times better than they were, and they shouldn't chip. Well, guys, that'll do it for today. Uh, I got a lot done on the, the wiring and the painting, um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's happening. I'm getting really pumped about this project. I can't wait to get that steel and uh, get the rear frame fixed but anyways um, hit like if you like the video hit dislike if you didn't doesn't matter to me um, yeah share the video with your friends um, subscribe for more if you want to see more of the 3 plus 3 build and uh, until next time guys take care better <laughs>